Welcome to Chemistry Tales. This is Lesson 22, 12 March 2020. Today we're going to look at redox titrations as a tool with which we can derive information about species through redox reactions. First, you fill a burette with a titrant solution for which you know the concentration. We're going to need a reference electrode that's going to produce a known voltage and a working electrode that will sense the potential in the solution. Connect those with a voltmeter. The reaction we're interested in is the reaction of iron in its 2 plus oxidation state with potassium permanganate to yield iron and manganese ion. We must assign oxidation numbers to determine which species is being oxidized and which species is being reduced. You will find that the iron is undergoing a transition and oxidation number of plus two to plus three. That's an increase in oxidation number, therefore that species is being oxidized. It's losing electrons. The manganese is undergoing a change in number from plus seven to plus two. Therefore, this is a reduction. It's the one that's gaining electrons. So to balance the half reactions, you mass balance, then you charge balance with electrons. For the manganese, we must add water and hydrogen ions to balance the oxygen, and that's going to be a five electron exchange. So we multiply through the oxidation by that number, so we have equal numbers of electrons exchanged. Now we have the complete redox reaction that's balanced and we know it's a five electron exchange. Now we're ready to move on to predicting the cell potential for this reaction. We must look up the standard reduction potentials for the two half reactions and of course the process at the anode we're looking for the reverse as represented as a reduction. We're ready for the second slide. 